Hi wrestling fans, this is Mad Matt Carter. Thank you for joining us here on YouTube. Remember, it's very important that you like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you like these videos. It really helps out the channel and we appreciate your support. Thanks a lot. of UPW Uprising. I'm your host, Jesse Weaver, and today's episode is all about the UPW Championships. In our main event, we will have a triple threat with Jared Jacks defending the UPW Championship. But first, we're going to show you how he won it, and he won it back at the Summer Sizzler. All right, folks, with no further ado, we're going to get this championship matchup underway. Silas I gotta be honest with you, I didn't expect to hear an intelligent comment to come out of any one of your mouths. But one of you said wrestling lesson, and that's exactly what you're going to get is a wrestling lesson. Woo! That's right. <laughs> statement there from Both Silas Young. inside the ring and here... Jared Jacks is going to learn a lesson as well. See, tonight, Jared Jacks I'm supposed to face CW3, a guy that you guys thought months back actually had a chance at becoming UPW champion. But you were wrong, like you're wrong about so much in life. And now, Jared, you're here up here because we've known each other for the better part of 20 years because we're friends and because, quite honestly, I got you an opportunity here tonight. But let's be honest, Jared. Replacements, last minute replacements, they don't win matches. And last minute replacements, sure as hell, don't win titles. So, let's be honest, we're friends. We've known each other for 20 years. We've already got paid. So what, what, do we, what do we really need to prove here? We both know what's gonna happen. Sure, you're a great wrestler, I'm a great wrestler, but where I traveled the world, I won title after title, you not so much. <laughs> yeah, you know what, if I look like you, I was looking at someone like me, I'd probably say I suck too. It's called a fair reflection of yourself. So you hate yourself so much. So, Jared, let's do it in time. Let's do it in time. Let's do it in time. You do what you're supposed to do, and I go back home as champion. So what do you say? All right. Well, laid it down. All I gotta say is, uh, you this last minute feeling is about to fill his foot in your ass. <laughs> All right. He said yes, obviously. We're underway, kick to, the, kick to the head. Jared Dax, a very agile ability and skill set. This man has been around and these two know each other very, very well. As Silas and Young alluded to earlier, they've known each other for 20 plus years. He got him his opportunity here tonight. Better both down or slow to get up. They're both getting up to their feet. Can't apply any stripes tonight. What a close eye from Jared Jacks. And another one. Standing Silas Young into the corner. He's grabbing him now. He's gonna maybe do a tornado DDT. Reversed it. Send the Jacks to the corner. Get to the gut. And another one. He's gonna springboard. Springboard DDT. What a springboard tornado DDT from Jared Jacks. As he goes for the cover now, he could be the new champ. One, two. Oh, he almost won the title. He almost walked away with the championship, folks. 
What a maneuver. He's got to capitalize now if he wants that gold. Both of these men are tired. Fast paced agility of Jared Jacks, as well as the wrestling knowledge and ground skill of Silas Young. Been one hell of a fight. Jared Jacks taking control now. Picks up Silas Young and a fireman's carry. Couldn't hold him. Holding that arm that he's been working on. Chases him in a corner, met with a boot. Silas Young fires out of the corner, misses the call sign. Roll up here. One, two. He almost had it again. Two count. Silas Young cuts him off. Grabs that arm. Right back to that arm. Taking him down now. Oh, that forearm to the face. Wrenching that arm. Oh, and he just won't let it go. He's trying to tear it out of the socket. Oh, God. Jared fighting for it, trying to get out of it. Massive forearms to the chin. Finally, Silas Young lets it go. Watch the clothesline. What a maneuver. What a variation of the angle slam that looked like. One, two, and almost hit again. Again. Almost walked away with the title. I cannot believe that that was not three. What a move. Jared Jacks here. That arm has got to be killing him. See him grabbing for it. He's trying to get feeling back in his fingers. Obviously, some nerve damage must have happened. What's from the attacks that Silas Young has been putting on that arm of Jared Jacks. Jared Jacks trying to take control, trying to stay on top here. He wants to leave here tonight. The UPW champion picks him up for a fireman's carry again. And Silas Young reversed it. Jared Jacks reverses it off the ropes. Sets him through to the apron. Oh, and a clothesline off the top. Then to Jared Jacks to the outside. Conneman. Off the apron. Cut his ass out. Silas Young is sucking wind now. Use that as a bit of a breather. Trying to get him counted out, so he walks away with the belt. Retains it. He's not this man is as tough as they come. It's a cold night. You can see the steam coming off of Silas Young's body. Let's go a little faster. How hot the body temperatures get when you're out there fighting. It really doesn't bother you that much when you see the steam rising off of both of these men. Oh, and he shoved Jana Pride away. And he's putting the boots to that shoulder that he's been working on. Dana Pride's telling him to watch himself. He gets himself disqualified. The title does not change hands in a disqualification. All for naught for Jared Jacks to get a DQ here or a count out. He's got to get back in the ring. She's at five now. Seven now. Jared Jacks is trying to get back in the ring. Is that eight? Slid in the ring, he's halfway there. Get him in the ring, Silas. Are Silas kidding? Young putting the boots to him. Going outside himself. Our help starts over. Bounce at two. What is Silas Young going to do with Jared Jackson? Irish rep. Oh, Silas Young meets the post. His forehead hits the post there. Both of these men have to get back in the ring. The belt cannot be won on the outside. Oh, Trying to get him back in. This is a one-armed man oh, out here fighting. Picked him up and hit him with the same arm. Oh, what a job. Fighting and clawing. All he's got. He's going to walk away with the belt tonight. But he can barely pull himself up with that arm. Silas Young has done some damage. And he kicks the middle rope. Jared Jacks was trying to get in the ring. What a cheap shot. That was cheap. 
say you're the last real man. That was a oh, and a kick to the face. Stunning, Jerry. Oh, what a beautiful spinning neck right, breaker. Duplex into a spinning neck break. One, two. Jared Jackson's kicked out. Are you freaking kidding me? He is not giving up. This man is hungry My for this God, belt, yes. for this Are opportunity. I was arguing with the ref here. That was two. Are you kidding me? Clearly kicked out Silas. Waste your time and put him away if you want to be done with it. Back and forth they go. Fighting like a married couple. Silas Young, if you want to put him away, do it now. Waste your time. Waste your time arguing with the referee. Pick it up, Jared Jacks. Now, what's he gonna do? Pick him up for a fireman's carry. Jared Jacks reverse. Shove Silas Young into the corner. He tripped and hit the middle turnbuckle. Silas Young planted in the corner. Now, Jared Jacks moved on his shoulder. The turn, the turn post. That, that bad shoulder that's been getting worked on all night. And right there in his face. It's the prize that he is so longing for. The UPW Championship. Silas Young, what he was doing there. Lured him in. Shoved him into the post. What? Can I tell you, Grabbing him by the trunks Mark now. Him. What's he gonna do? The German suplex. Wait a minute, Jared Jacks rolls him up. One, two. Two oh, Silas Young. Oh my lord. How did he pull it off? How did he? He had a new champion, folks. He had a new UPW champion. Jared Jacks, he pulled it out. That's amazing. Wow. The Max Entertainment Center is proud to be the UPW's northern home. With flying, flipping, and slams galore, it's the best in the Midwest. Check out all of the upcoming concerts, comedy shows, and events on Facebook at the Max Entertainment Center. Higher Mountain. The UP W rocks. Welcome to UPW Hype Central. Join us January 13th as Tommy Trainwreck defends the UPW Championship against this function. Joey Avalon, Silas Young, two out of three falls winner will get a title shot. Hernandez makes his debut against Jason for the American Championship. Peter B. B.J. Allen versus Judge Jesse and Rick Carter, a tag team attraction. Melvin asks for the biggest and the baddest, and he gets it in Killer Cavs. The Dev and Cato go one-on-one -on -one in a hardcore challenge match. And Samson makes his return against Rough Rider Rashawn, and if he wins, he gets five minutes alone with Johnny Shane. January 13th at the Max. Tickets available now. We'll see you there. Hey, Paul, I'm hungry. You forgot to pack a lunch. That's all right, son. I stopped off at King's Hot Dogs. We got us some King Dogs. You're the best, Pa. King's Hot Dogs, building family memories for over 30 years. Located in the Village Square Plaza in rural Hall. Call 336-969-4688. <laughs> this is the life, son. It sure is, Pa. All right, folks, we're going to get this match up underway, and here's everybody's favorite person to hate, Tommy Trainwreck. He's got a face only a mother could love. Mother could punch, one of the two, probably the latter. 
but yeah, bring in the hardware as usual. Never fight fair. Always has to have somebody have his back. This is Tommy Trainwreck at his best. Man is part of the syndicate. A very hated group here in UPW. I'm Mr. P. Ness in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event for the evening. It is going to be Tommy Trainwreck against Jared Jacks for the UPW Championship. Looks like there's something going on here. Mr. P. Ness was just given a message. Wait a minute, I'm getting something in my headset here. Folks, it's like we have a another competitor in this matchup. It's, it's now triple threat. And it looks like Brock Hall is going to be our history competitor in this triple threat matchup now. This puts a different factor into everything. Not only does Jared Jacks have Tommy Trainwreck to deal with, but he had no time to prepare for Brock Hall. There he comes, folks. There he is. Brock Hall. Fans here in UPW do not like this guy. Oh, that's real cute. That's real cute, you Adam Bomb ripoff. Yeah. Yeah. Went over the fans by flipping them off. Yeah, that's real good. Put that on a shirt. What does that even mean? This man looks like... I don't even want to say... Hey, this is Kenosha Community Media. I could get away with saying what I really wanted to say on YouTube and TikTok. There's children that watch this show. Now I'm not going to go there. Well, we'll just say it's the underbelly side of a gut. Never mind. Let me just shut up. You can already tell I don't like this guy. I've already seen somebody I didn't like in Tommy Trainwreck. I feel bad for Jared Jacks. I'm really pulling for him now. Jane of Prides are official for this main event. Folks, you can check us out on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and share. Share, share, folks. Check us out on Facebook and TikTok as well. And upwisingcom There he is, folks, the UPW champion, Jared Jacks. This man won this belt in an upset victory over Silas Young. That was a hard-fought victory. It wasn't, wasn't a walk in a park for this man. He earned every bit of that gold that he holds above his head. This man is very well perceived amongst the crowd. They're behind him. But why wouldn't you be? This man is put loose and fancy free, and his agility in the ring is impeccable. This man rose from the bottom to the top here in UPW. And now he has a true test to his title reign against Tommy Trainwreck, Brock Hall. Introducing first, weighing in at 300 pounds from Boston, Massachusetts, representing the syndicate, Death Proof, Tommy Trainwreck! The Dapper Yapper, Ian P. Ness. This bell hung, get this match underway. Next, weighing at 230 pounds from Three Mile Island, the new generation of islands, the real Real Brock Hall. What does that even mean? Of course, he's the real Brock Hall. He's the only one. No 
Nej, det skal ikke. Og det er people think you. Your die liner sucks. tonight. Of course, Tommy Trainwreck's going to try and grab it. It's a beautiful piece of equipment there, folks. What a prize to be had. We're going to get this bell rung. We're going to get this match underway. Main event here for UPW Uprising. Bell is rung. Here we go. Like they're trying to work together and team up on it, of course. Two on one. That's what I figured this was going to be. Jared Jacks firing up. Throwing Tommy Trainwreck out of the ring. Irish whip from Brock Hall. The agility of this man. What an is Curry from Jared Jacks. Sends Brock Hall out. All cut off by Tommy Trainwreck with a kick to the gut and a punch right to the forehead. Taunting the crowd now and taunting his opponent. This man gets in people's heads. Shoots him off to the corner. Met with a boot to the cut. And another one. Garrett Jackson spring for tornado DD2. All for the cover now. One. Two. Rock off. Cuts it off. That's the factor that we have to deal with here. More importantly, Jared Jacks has to deal with that factor. And he doesn't even have to be pinned to lose the belt here. Brock Hall choking him now. Choking him on the ropes. Dana Fry trying to get it broken. Normally in a triple threat setting, there is no disqualification. Jana Pride's gonna do her job from hell or high water. She's got her hands full here. Brock Hall choking Jared Jacks through the ropes, bringing the paper in to help him. Oh, and a shot to the gut. Fired right back with a shot to the shoulder blades. Mid back, holding him up now. Full team move. Rock on Tommy Trainwreck. This is essentially turned into a two on one. How is that going to play out? There's a belt at stake. Look at the power. Tommy Trainwreck. Letting all that blood rush to Garrett Jackson's head, sending him down to the mat with authority. What a suplex. Now that puts him out. What are these good two going to do? You can't hold hands the whole match. You're going to have to fight it out eventually. There is no honor amongst thieves. Powerful shot from Hall. Answered right back by Jared Jackson. Tommy, oh, Tommy train wreck just now. Done on the ropes for his troubles. Irish Swift second chance into the post. That shoulder, that left shoulder hit the post. You remember back from Summer Sizzler, Silas Young did a number on that arm. I wonder if that's gonna play any factor in this. Tommy train wreck, but oh, he must have known, did his homework. That's why he threw him into the post the way he did, ducking the chop. Oh, and he answers back with his own. Rock off from behind, breaking the eyes. Oh, and raking the back, digging his nails in his back, and just wrenching, ripping the skin. Yeah. yeah, real easy for you. Walk in the park, right? Two on one, of course. Oh, 
these two men. What's going to happen when they have to face each other? Oh, there we go. Impending doom that was bound to happen has happened. That looks like that love story does. From Garrett Jacks to Tommy Trainwreck. All men are laid out now. Jada Pride's going to start the bell. Jared Jacks has to get up and get on top of one of these guys he wants to retain here tonight. Said both men really. He's truly been fighting them both himself. The only time that they have encountered each other, that accident right there, where they were trying to double team maneuver on Jared Jackson and backfired on him. And Jared brought in some hardware. He brought in the front door. Oh, it's a dead punch. Here comes the syndicate. Oh, and a pump to the eye. He got him up in a fireman's carry. What's going to do? That probably driver through the door. Good God. Good God. He's going to go for the pin. All throws train wreck out. One, two. And Syndicate pulls Jada Pride out. Oh, Sean, come on. You son of a bitch. You piece of trash, man. You oh, piece of trash. You just let me have some Steve White. Wait a minute. Here we go. One, two. No. Again. Is that a fat down fast count? Oh, my. No. Oh my God, no. Dude, no. Why? Oh my God, we have a new UPW champion. And it's because Steve White just turned his back on UPW Jared trying to get his hands on him. Rightfully so. Get punk. Why did you? That's two weeks in a row we've had good people. It turned bad. I just. The successful, the syndicate. Oh my God, no, Dave. This can't be true. This can't be true. This. Oh my God, this is. You son of a bitch. You son. They have ruined it. Come on. I said back in July, I said the clowns can have whatever they want. Tonight, the lost not found, and we found the church. Oh my God. He had this plan all along. This is a dark, dark day for the EW folks. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen after here. We have a new UPW champion. Jason won the Court American title. Folks, we got to we got to figure this out. I I don't know what to think anymore. You know, we saw glimpses of, the, glimpses of this in the last week with the fast count with the dev, but this hammered the nail right in. And now we know that Steve White is aligned with the syndicate. This uh, doesn't sit well with me. It shouldn't sit well with you. Um, somebody's gonna pay for this. Somebody will. But uh, folks, thank you for letting us come into your living rooms this morning and entertaining you. I had a blast helping entertain you guys. I'm Jesse Weaver. This has been UPW Uprising. Don't forget, follow us on Facebook, on TikTok. Check us out on YouTube. 
And also, check us out on upwrising.com. We will see you guys Christmas morning. We have a very special show for you on Christmas morning. I want to send a shout out to everybody involved. Thank you guys, and take care. Join us Christmas morning at 9 a.m. as Jada Pride will be hosting a two-hour special of UPW Uprising featuring the Steiner Brothers' last public appearance. Matches from Joey Avalon, Earl Hebner, and Luigi Primo. See Sierra, Madman Fulton, and EC3 in action, and maybe even a special appearance from Santa Claus. All this and more, Saturday morning, on Christmas, 9 a.m. Don't miss it. Oh, oh, oh.